Russian religion is as important to its people as its history, culture, and the very land of Russia itself. Religion has been central to the Russian identity since long before Prince Vladimir baptized the country in the early 10th century. Russians have often thought of themselves as the successor to Rome and the Byzantine Empire in that they are the new protectors of the Christian faith. This national pride led to Russia being known as the third and final Rome. As influence of Russia spread throughout the world, so too did their religion. Russian Orthodox presence in the Americas dates back to the mid-18th century when the Russian government settled Alaska. Prominent figures like St. Herman and St. Innocent set up missions and worked to convert the natives much like Protestants and Catholics had done in other parts of the continent. Orthodox presence in the nation increased when a dispute between Catholic priests John Ireland and Alexis Toth led to the latter returning to Orthodoxy and spreading the faith throughout the U.S. Many refer to Ireland as the father of Orthodoxy in America despite the fact that he was a Roman Catholic. Since then, the Diocese of North America has controlled the church in the U.S. and reported back to the Patriarch in Moscow. When the Russian Empire gave way to the atheist Soviet Revolution, many devout followers of the Russian Orthodox Church fled to America. Scores of Russians emigrated to America following the 1917 Revolution, and the followers of the Orthodox faith in North America were considered to be in diaspora until 1994. A new church was created in the U.S. that had been severed from control from the church back home through a decree by the Patriarch. Russian Orthodox churches all over the world began to seek new leadership. They joined together to form the Russian Orthodox Church outside of Russia, or ROCOR. The diocese resumed communication with the main branch of the church back in Russia and became more autonomous in the 1970s when the Russian Orthodox Church in America was recognized as answering to no higher authority in the church. The Orthodox Church in America, or OCA, is governed by the Holy Synod of Bishops that generally meet twice a year to discuss church matters. The leader is elected by the Synod and is known as the Metropolitan or Primate and is seated in Washington, D.C. The Metropolitan oversees church operations in both the U.S. and Canada. In November of 2012, the 17th All-American Council elected Archbishop Tikhon to be the new Metropolitan. Although the Metropolitan serves as the representative of the Church of the outside world, he is considered to be an equal of other bishops in the Church. Bishops control smaller regions in North America that are known as dioceses, of which there are currently 14 in the OCA. Although most American Christians are either Protestant or Catholic, the Yearbook of American and Catholic Churches estimates there are a little over 1 million followers of the Russian Orthodox Church in America. Because the church split from Catholicism before the Reformations and Martin Luther, it closely resembles Catholic beliefs but with several key differences. One of the most notable is how they view the Pope. In Catholicism, the Pope is viewed as the Vicar of God and therefore is the de facto leader of the church. Russian Orthodox believe that he is the Bishop of Rome and has authority over that jurisdiction, but that he is not infallible and does not have more power than any other bishop. The Orthodox Church also puts greater emphasis on liturgy than does the Catholic Church. Liturgy are fixed services that do not change in word or meaning over time. Catholic services are more focused on Mass, where the priests often interpret scripture to the congregation. Because their beliefs are tied to Mother Russia, these churches tend to preserve their heritage as much as possible. Often services are offered in the native language and texts can be read in either English or Russian. The churches are often adorned with beautiful stained glass art and icons that would feel right at home in Russia. Services are also typically held for Russian holidays, such as the Twelve Great Feasts, and many traditional beliefs are still found here. Churches by no means exclude other ethnicities from joining, but in general they are more ethnically homogenous than other Christian denominations. This is due in part to the many ethnicities that are part of the church. Greeks, Russians, and people from the Caucasus nations are all largely Orthodox and have a large presence in the U.S. Traditionally, each ethnicity operated their own separate brand of Orthodoxy. The services of each church differed and they were governed independently. In 1960, Archbishop Iakovos established the Standing Conference of Canonical Orthodox Bishops in America, or SCOBA. SCOBA served as a symbol of Orthodox unity in the West and laid the groundwork for the more modern OCA. SCOBA established the International Orthodox Christian Charities to promote philanthropy for both Orthodox and non-Orthodox communities and the Orthodox Christian Mission Center to help spread the faith abroad. SCOBA was later brought under the control of the OCA when Patriarch Bartholomew unified all Orthodox jurisdictions during the Episcopal Assembly in 2010.